You just can't get your dog with allergies to stop itching. Your dog may have a secondary yeast infection. Your dog may have a secondary bacterial infection. This is my five step alternative plan to finally stop the itching. Number one, you've got to decrease the level of the intense itching. This herbal tincture, licorice root, is a great option to start with. Licorice root is considered the natural corticosteroid in terms of being the best way to naturally decrease the itching. It's also shown to be antibacterial, also shown to be antifungal. And we also want to be able to treat the secondary yeast and bacterial infections. This is a pretty standard tincture dose, 250 milligrams per mil. So it's a half a mil per 20 pounds of body weight. We're going to be doing that twice a day for a maximum of 14 days. Number two, an awesome skin anti-inflammatory. It also has some antifungal properties. Believe it or not, it's the omega-3 fatty acids. This is my krill oil supplement. You likely already have your dog on an omega-3 fatty acid supplement, but typically many people don't have their dogs on a high enough dose. With the krill, we're looking at doses of 500 milligrams per 25 pounds of body weight daily. And number three, these are herbs that are antibacterial and antifungal. This here, it's garlic in the form of aged garlic extract. This here comes from the olive tree. This is olive leaf. Olive leaf has been extensively studied as an antibacterial, shown to be a really effective natural antibacterial. It's also been shown to have some antifungal properties. It's very safe. There's no noted side effects. When we're looking at dog doses, we're typically looking at 100 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. This is something you want to give for a minimum of 21 days. The other oral option is this. This is the aged garlic extract. Garlic has also been studied. It's likely a better antifungal than it is an antibacterial. These are 350 milligram capsules. So a 50 pound dog will be getting one of these capsules once a day. Once again, you're going to be giving this for a minimum of 21 days. Number four, this is a flavonoid, which is a natural antihistamine. It's also shown to be antibacterial and antifungal. You really want to be incorporating this, but at the right dose. This here, this is the bioactive quercetin. Quercetin is isolated from red onion, isolated from apple peel. This great natural product has virtually no side effects and it really could help your super chronically itching dog. The other big point is ensure that it's bioactive so so much more of it is absorbed. We're looking at doses of the bioactive quercetin of 50 milligrams per 25 pounds of body weight daily and you want your dog to be on this for a minimum of 21 days but potentially long term. Then step five, this is a homemade shampoo. It is antibacterial and antifungal. The green tea, it's antibacterial and antifungal. We're starting with three quarters of a cup. Lavender oil is antibacterial, it's antifungal. Also seems to have some antihistamine type qualities. We're adding in 20 drops. Third part of our natural shampoo, it's this natural soap, Castile soap. We're putting in two tablespoons of our Castile soap. Last part of our shampoo, which is critically important, it's this, the apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, it's antibacterial, and it is a great antifungal to help kill the yeast if that's the cause of the itching. We're putting in two tablespoons. Of so here it is, our antifungal, antibacterial, homemade shampoo. The big thing is you're going to be lathering up your dog, especially focus on the cracks and crevices, for instance, under their armpits and their groin. You need to leave this on for a full 10 minutes and then you thoroughly rinse your dog. You can do this twice a week. You can do this twice a week for three weeks and then once a week ongoing for maintenance. You've got a chronically allergic dog. He or she just won't stop itching. I encourage you to go through those five steps. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of my five steps to finally stop your dog from itching. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my new free book.